And hi. Thank you. Thank you. Right, hope you had a nice break. Um, so welcome back. We've got two more amazing talks. Uh, first up, we've got Hagit Kaufman, Erez Atias, and Namar Hoffman from Wix. Um, they're from Wix.com. Actually, I love these guys, okay? So I did a talk at Wix.com in Tel Aviv last year, and I ended up getting pissed in the sea on a unicorn. Uh, it was amazing. Um, so yeah, I love these guys. Uh, an inflatable unicorn, by the way, not a real unicorn. Um, so yeah, they're from Wix.com, the largest uh, multidisciplinary in-house design studio in Israel with over 120 designers. Uh, we have Hagit Kaufman, the head of design, um, designer Nama Hoffman, and marketing designer Erez Atias. Um, welcome to the stage, Wix. Wow, that's huge. Hi, everyone. I'm Hagit. I'm the VP design of uh, Wix.com. I've been part of Wix for the past 10 years, leading an in-house studio of 170 designers already, since we, you wrote the text before. <laughs> um, the studio covers all layers of Wix, from the product UI and packaging to the marketing campaigns and the content itself, itself we give our users as a starting point for their needs. I'm super excited to be here today, talking to this amazing crowd about the one thing I love the most, and it's web design. But before we start, I want to take two minutes of our time talking about templates, because it's a real pain point. Well, for that, I want to take you back seven years ago, when Wix launched our first HTML editor. Back then, HTML was a real need, but couldn't do much yet. We found out there were many business owners that needed simple websites, and they wanted to do them themselves. Well, we all know what happens when a client tries to do anything themselves, right? So we pushed the simple design to the highest level possible, creating templates that were so straightforward and easy to understand that even the client couldn't ruin them. Behind me now, you can see some of those templates, all been designed and created using the Wix editor by the Wix designers that are, by the way, just like you and me, passionate for trends, for high-end design, and for breaking the rules. The only rule they could not break in this process is keeping it as simple as possible to use and to understand. So this is a real creative conflict. Look, 48 thousands of websites are being created by the Wix editor, by the business owner, every day. That's a lot. So obviously, we care about those users. They are the core of our business, and they are the reason why we started in the first place. But designers, we don't need templates. We don't want to live in a box. What we do need is a blank page to start with, and what we want is to create new things, to invent new layouts, to bring our vision to life. And this is what happens when you don't have to bend your design to the rules. When you can do whatever you want, these websites are, all, are also being created by the Wix designers using the Wix editor. You want to see some more? <laughs> So in the end, what I'm trying to say is that now you can really own your design from start to finish without having to depend on anyone else who breaks your design or ignores your spacing, without having to force your design into a template. Now that I took it off my chest, <laughs> we can move forward to talk about web design. And for that, I asked two of my lead designers to come here today, and I gave them a challenge create the most crazy and amazing website in 14 days, starting from blank. No closed brief, no design restrictions, and no developers. Now here they are, now miners. I can't believe yeah. that just happened. Oh my god. 
Good Hi. afternoon, everyone. Hi. I'm so happy to be here. My name is Nama. I lead the product design team in the Wix editor. And my name is Erez, and I'm a brand designer for Wix. And I want to start by saying I know it's going to sound corny, and I know that every talker starts their talk by saying how excited he is. But seriously, this stage, I mean, come on. <laughs> Looking at you guys, it reminds me of the first day that, you know, they told me that we're going to do this awards thing. You see, in Wix's studio, there are over 170 top class designers. Seriously. I mean, Hagi just called us lead designers, but we're all the same level, and the level of talent in Wix's studio is crazy. So when I first heard that I was picked, I felt like special. And I felt like someone just see something in me that maybe I wasn't aware of. Some hidden, you know, potential. Here and we that's go why again. they picked me. That's why they picked me for this important mission. You know, maybe I need to fulfill my destiny, use my powers, my design powers. I can be like the chosen one. Maybe I am the chosen one. Maybe I can be a hero, like a superhero of web design like Batman, you know, with a mouse, and, when, and I see my name in the sky when they need me. Oh my God, focus, Erez. It's not about you. It's actually not about us. It's about something bigger than that. I mean, it's about art and science. This crowd, they want to see something new, something fresh, something they've never seen before. Do you understand it's the fucking awards? Okay, I get it, I get it. I'm sorry. You're right, always. So, 14 days to make a crazy website, super crazy website that will make Hagit proud and without the use of any developer. How do you even start? Of course, we start with the grand kickoff. Oh, kickoffs. I love kickoffs. Kickoffs are the days when you come to work late, you send a bunch of like calendar invites. And then you go on to lunch, go go lunch, and then you go home. I mean, come on, I know it's the, it's the awards, but let's keep it honest. Nobody does shit on kickoff days. Right? Yeah, so after the kickoff, um, we needed to do a little retrospective. So we started brainstorming about everything that we did in the studio in the past few years. And we talked about a lot of stuff, right? I mean, we talked about the, broad the broadcast department and the marketing department, the print, the brand, our big projects, the Super Bowl, the Wix code, the playground. And soon, our brainstorm turned into a shitstorm. Because you see, once your creative mind is not, doesn't have any boundaries or limitations, you're surrounded by white canvas, you just go lost, because every thought is a good thought, good thought or a bad thought, and ideas keep taking you to another idea and leave you there, and you get lost, and you keep on pitching ideas without knowing which one of those ideas will be worth spending your, the time that you don't have. And once you keep doing it for a whole day, that's when your mind starts eventually to malfunction. It's like what we call pitching glitching. Yeah, and we took those glitching, and we took all these distorted elements, and we combined them into a new web composition that delivers that feeling. Yep. So the day after, we encountered a new obstacle. Have you ever noticed how time-consuming those small talks in the hallway, in the, in the office, in the kitchen talks might be? I mean, oh my god, it's like we couldn't even complete one straight hour of pure thought without anybody just coming and like, oh my god, you guys, I heard you're going to awards. How cool is that, right? Oh my god, are you going to awards? Oh what are you god, going to oh talk about? Can I say something? Can I say oh my god, can I suggest Mama, something? I miss, you. I miss you so much. How are you doing? Talk, talk. <laughs> it was so annoying. We just had to leave the office. We had to go somewhere else. So that's when we went shopping. And by shopping, I mean we went to a special place in downtown Tel Aviv. And I don't know if you know Tel Aviv or downtown Tel Aviv, but it's basically like, you know, AliExpress? Who here is no AliExpress? Mm -hmm. Same thing, but on the street. It's really cool. It has tons of toys and tons of stupid things that you don't really need. And we just 
went and bought tons of shit that just moved us by its material or the color or just the thought of what new things we could create using these things. Now, at that point, we still had no idea what kind of website we want to create. All we, all we knew was we wanted to make something different this time. So instead of just sitting and waiting for the perfect idea to come, we decided to just, just ditch the brief for a second. Go and have fun and be, get stupid, like the stupid things we bought yesterday. And that was great. We actually had fun, right? Yeah. But we did know that we wanted to use a lot of different kinds of media in a very unique layout. So we just placed a lot of cameras and a lot of tripods inside the playground that we created and just documented ourselves in order to use it. Yep. This is where we first started having fun. When we first created for the sake of creation. And you see, once you go fun-driven instead of brief-driven, this is where you let love inside your system of what you're doing. You love every second of it. It's like, it's like in the movies, when you suddenly hear the music, and love you know, enters the system, and you love your every meaningless creation. You love, we loved it. Yeah. Oh, it was such a beautiful day. I mean, we laughed the entire day. Oh, it was like a beautiful era in our two weeks relationship. Yeah, but you know, once you let someone inside your heart and your design, you let him into a very like a personal place. Like he gets access to like your nerve system. And once a person gets an access to such a delicate place, you know, he might go around and touch some shit and you know, might break something on the way. Yeah, you know, after every honeymoon comes the real marriage. Right. And you know those kind of days when your partner is just saying all the right things to get on your nerves. You're like, you know, you feel the tension building up through the, through the day. It's like whatever she says, it's like drives you nuts. You're on the edge, like a minute, like a second from a train wreck. And it's like, you know, you feel it. You feel the, the tension. Yeah, we just thought about everything, everything. We couldn't agree about nothing, about styles, about fonts, about visuals, about colors, nothing, nothing. He couldn't understand nothing. It was such a horrible day. You know, at some point, I know lots of, believe me, some nasty shit came out of our mouths that day, but at some point it went personal. And once you go personal, this is when you know you just cross the line. Yeah, and at that point you get to the worst day of a project life cycle. The day of the great meltdown. You must know that feeling. It's like, it's like the opposite of professional. You just know you fucked up. And you don't know how to get up again. And you don't want to go to work today. And you don't want to show your face and you mad at everything, and fuck everything, and why did I agree to take this challenge? Yeah, after you feel so shitty, you have no hope. But the thing is that once you go to that point, the point of the horrible meltdown, that's the point that you can suddenly just break through. Yeah, you see, the day after our meltdown, emotional meltdown, we suddenly realized that our constant search for the ultimate website the one that, you know, will impress you guys and make Hagit proud and the best website ever and the most sophisticated one. The constant search for, this, for our story was the story. I mean, by, then, by that day, me and Amar went through so many emotional phases. I'm sure you've all felt them before. I mean, we went through super excitement to like laziness and confusion and destruction and stupidity and love and anger and regret. We were the characters, and that was the story. Yeah, and it only took us, well, a few hours, because we're not developers, and a few lines of JavaScript. Using Wix code, we were able to deliver that feeling in an interactive way. Yep. And that was the first time that we actually started working as a team, right? Yeah. Like a power couple. We actually back started assembling stuff and working back to back. Yeah. And 
at that point, our work was over. And we just sat down and looked at what we just created. And we doubted everything. Because you see, you always forget about the last stage, the last boss to beat in the, this game of creation, which is the self-doubt. Right? I mean, yeah, you super love like, it and then you super hate it. Yeah, and you don't know if you're going to be an inspiration to the crowd or you're just going to make a fool of yourself. So at that point, you know, all you have to do is trust your intuition. And by intuition, I mean the errors of two days ago, the Eureka moment errors. I mean, it's only two days since the Eureka moment, but he was the guy that had no doubts. He was the guy that, you know, he knew that this is what we looked for and convinced Nama on the spot. He had no doubts. He was the dreamer. He was the Batman with the mouse. And, you know, I was the same, the same person. So this is it. This is intuition. Trust your intuition. Yeah, so we just had to, had to go out and just take a big breath. So this is Tel Aviv's famous beach. Wix's studios are located right on top of that beach. So on that day, we decided that this is it. We're happy with what we created. No turning back. We're just going to leave it all behind us and go and sit on the sand and watch some camels swimming in, in the ocean. <laughs> you know, camels and dolphins. It was beautiful. <laughs> and this is where our website story ends. Standing in front of you guys reminds us the first day that we were handed with this challenge and all of those feelings we've shared since that day. And right now, the feeling is again overexciting. And that means that our creative circle has closed. Yeah, and I think that the most important thing that we've learned is that starting from scratch is not that easy at first. But it does have the best ending. Thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, our website is live, uh, and you can also visit our blog, High on Design. We'll be here for the rest of the conference. Please come and chat with us. Thank you very much.